guys, it is TSL Tyler coming at you with Mini System Test 1. Yes, I always had a Mini System up, I just never filmed it, and today is the day I am filming it. Alright. So, up here we got the Spectral Alert P241575 on strobe only. The Cerberus Pyrotronics RSS 5120. And. The brand new alarm I got from Mini Man 0404, the Gentex GX90S-4. Well, it was originally dash 2, but he converted it to a dash 4. He cut the wire between the strobe and the horn, which I actually would have done by myself anyway, because I like to do audible silence. This is going to be a continuous system, though, because all it is wired through two wire for everything. And this is the only horn that's on. This is set on horn strobe right now, uh, on continuous remote strobe, and the horn on this is not hooked up. Uh, these, this is, these are all, these are acting as remote strobe, and this is acting as the horn strobe for today. And also, almost forgot, I have a special guest on Skype. Say hello to Miniman zero four zero four. Yep, he is on here because uh, he wants to see the brand new. GX90 in action. And I don't know what the quality of this video is going to be. It's 720p camera. Um, and 720p is usually what I save them in, or 1080p. So, and we got the 5003 OD, which is the new one. The 5003 OD is the outdoor model. So, this can be like an outdoor panel, like at a zoo, maybe, or whatever. So this can be outdoor, indoor, or in a shed, or whatever, and it's water resistant. So that's a cool, I guess. And it has a trouble right now because um, there's no pole stations hooked up. Alright, anyway, um, so is there anything you'd like to say before we get on with the test and set it off? Um, did anybody notice how almost every single Gentex product um, whether it's the GX90, the Commander 3, the Commander 2, has the letter G before it, like GX90, the Commander 3, which is GEC, and the Commander 2 had it, but the Commander 1 was just an HS. Yeah, that's true. I actually never knew, never noticed that. Well, I, I kind of... That's pretty cool. All right, anyway, do you want to count it down? Why not? All right. Three, two, one. And reset. Oh, oops. Fail. I tried to reset it with the... Hang on, I'll tell you in a minute. I tried to reset it with the drill key turned. Mm, nope. I, I'm I'm just sitting here like pushing the. I'm smart. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a total sound off. I already have this ready from the last system test because the camera's memory died. Continuous. Yes. High volume continuous. While you do that, can anybody guess the model of this weather radio, the model and the brand, based on its siren? Can anybody guess it? If you know what it is, then leave a comment below. Just continuous all the time. But here we go. High volume continuous. I'm going to regret this. Three. Okay, you know what? You can count it down again. Go ahead. All right. In three, two, one. 
actually beeping when I did that. The camera was actually like beeping at me. It was so loud. Like it was giving me a high volume warning on the screen. I didn't know if you do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It said warning. Video playback may be extremely loud for this clip. <laughs> That's awesome. appear in the video or not, but you're probably going to hear the beeping. It's like beep, 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 Okay, now I'm going to do code three. You go ahead and do it. All right. The code that is friendlier to your ears, code three on the Spectre Alert, continuous on the Gentex. In three, two, one. Wow, that's friggin' loud. That was odd. Um, what I changed in my headphones, um, about five seconds after you shut it off, all I could hear was the Spectre Alert. It muted out the GX90, but it kept the Spectre Alert running. Yeah, in my hearing, like, it live, though, it sound, it, it's all going off. It's, I think that's just the microphones don't really like the 3000 hertz tone. 3,000 hertz is a little bit high for microphones, I think. It makes the microphones high. But, um, psh. Okay, now I'm going to do something that's the stupidest thing. Wait, well, I'm going to do a little experiment, too, on the camera. I'm going to try 3,000 hertz interrupted on the Spectre Alert for this. In continuous. Nah, not in continuous. I'm going to try code 3 and then continuous. First off, high volume... Okay, I'm going to do high volume continuous and then low volume code 3. Alrighty. Alright. 3? Well, here, you count it down. We'll take turns. 3, 2, 1. does that. Every it's time on FWR? It, it kind of, not, really not, it just kind of sounds like a true alert. Interesting. Okay, so that was high volume code three, now I'm going to do low volume continuous. Because I only have two, right. I only have two jumpers, so that's why. I lost one of the jumpers for it. Anyway, here we go. Uh, 3,000 hertz continuous, or interrupted continuous, um, on low volume. Three, two, one. It's actually not as loud as when it's on electromech. That's odd. It's like, it doesn't sound as loud as when it's on electromechanical. GX90 and a Spectre Alert, do not put the Spectre Alert on high volume electromechanical continuous with the GX90 at the same time. 
it's combination makes a frequency that it just oh god ouch <laughs> I mean code 3 is one thing but continuous is a friggin another so yeah anyway um this is TSL Tyler signing off peace Okay, guys, uh, I forgot about the end thing. Okay, so there's one minute left. Anything you want to say? Uh, not at this point, other than go ahead and guess what that weather radio is. Um, pause right here and guess, and at the end of the video, Tyler, just put the model number. All right? Yep. See you, everybody.